A splashy arrival for the incumbent tonight, Mayor Bloomberg greeted by enthusiastic supporters. <laughs> Challenger Bill Thompson slipped in quietly away from our camera, then quickly on to the main event. In this corner, New York's heavyweight billionaire mayor, money bags Mike Bloomberg, rich, polished, unflappable, and rich. And in this corner, the challenger, battling Bill Thompson, laid back, low key, smart, angling for an upset. He started aggressively. Mike, you've chosen to spend close to $200 million to distort my record and to be able to rewrite history. Bloomberg leads in the polls. Tonight, Thompson hoping for a knockout blow, accusing Bloomberg of trying to buy votes. Bloomberg landed a jab, attacking Thompson on education. When he ran the Board of Education, schools were much more violent. It is an apples to oranges comparison, and one that the mayor likes to make because it really isn't accurate and isn't true. And the candidate sparred over Bloomberg's grasping for a third term. In the end, on November 3rd, we'll have a vote, and the public has to decide that day which of the two candidates they want to take this city forward. It is wrong. Mike Bloomberg lied to the people of New York City. Who do you want? Outside the hall, these anti-Bloomberg protesters shouted their outrage, complaining Mayor Mike is trying to buy the election with a $100 million bankroll. That's a question I put to veteran city politician Fernando Ferrer. Is $100 million enough to buy an election in New York City? Look, money buys a lot of things and a lot of people, and that kind of money. Um, buys an awful lot of things, so we'll see.